Hello everyone. Welcome to Afro News South Africa. To support this channel please kindly subscribe and share. Turn on the notification bell so you won't be left out in any video. Economic Freedom Fighters Deputy President Floyd Shivambu has revealed the Biki Cell's behavior which he displayed in East London by shouting at a member of Action South Africa is because he is hiding something. Shivambu said the police minister displayed a childish and charlatan behavior not befitting a minister of police. There's no police minister in South Africa, there's a childish impostor, a charlatan who overreacts to everything because of the so many sins and secrets he's hiding. How does a public representative act in such a childish manner in a public engagement, said Shivambu. Ian Cameron who was shouted at by police minister, Biki Sell in East London, said the minister is abusing his position, instead of using it for good purpose. The way the police behaved yesterday, it shows how the police are being abused for political gain by the certain political elite, and it's unfair. Ian Cameron, Director of Community Safety Action Society. Again, today is the day the victims of Venue Benny are finally laid to rest at Scenery Park, East London. Among those in attendance is the President of South Africa, Cyril Ramaphosa, who is a head of state, saw it fit to attend. He was reportedly given the task of reading the eulogy. But Ramaphosa ended up trending for a wrong reason. The funeral service was also attended by a contingent of journalists as well as photographers, which is normal for an event that is attended by the President. At some point during the proceedings a snap of the president was taken which appears to show him taking a nap. The image was shared by a user named Patrick Sindane, who did not clarify if he is the one who took the snap or what. I personally am not sure if the president was indeed sleeping, or he was maybe reacting to what was being said at that moment. But as it looks people decided to have a field day and drag the Pala Pala saga into this. You will remember that it was reported that the money that was stolen from his farm was kept on furniture including mattresses. This is how people reacted to the image. Judging by their comments it's easy to tell that some of the people who commented have seen the president sleeping before during an event which demanded his attention. Presidents are generally very busy individuals who do not subscribe to 9 to 5 like many of us do. Who knows maybe he had a late night last night due to his presidential commitments. Another obvious thing is that his day won't end with the funeral in East London, as he has a country to run. We'd like to hear from those who attended the funeral how things went, and was the head of state indeed sleeping during the funeral of 21 children.